Hello everybody, this is part two of my answers vid. Uh, Voodoo 6, you asked, do people over here, well, presumably meaning Britain, have contempt for Americans for not adopting the metric system, thus making it frequent and unnecessary for common uh, conversions commonplace? Sorry, my reading is not... Uh, but to answer your question, Voodoo 6, is I've never actually thought about it. Um... I think it's pretty daft that, that, that you don't uh, completely adopt the metric system over there, but it's your country, you can do what you want. If if your if your professionals seem to like uh, using the dual system, that is rather down to them. But as a whole, oh, I don't have any contempt for Americans for not adopting the metric system. I have contempt for some Americans for their politics, but as I say, we mustn't get into politics. Damning Creed, you asked me, it seems like, it seems that I enjoy offending people that use faulty reasoning. But is that just an enjoyable side effect of expressing your thoughts? Well, the answer to that one is yes and no. Is that sometimes it, it's, it's, I do offend people unintentionally, but that's their tough luck. <laughs> and if they get all ratty about it, yes, I do tend to have a chuckle. But sometimes I do set out to deliberately offend people by taking their nonsensical ideas to pieces in the bluntest way possible. But the only trouble is, the bluntest way possible is about the only way some of these people will understand. There's no point in presenting them with evidence, scientific facts. you just got to slap them in the face with it like it's a wet kipper. And if they get angry about it, so much the better. And born without religion, you ask me... Um, how do I take my tea? I like my tea white with two sugars in a mug rather than a cup and how would I recommend that you make a decent cup of tea? Use a decent teapot to start off with um, a pottery one or a ceramic one rather than a metal one. Um, if you're doing tea for two, put in two teaspoonfuls of heaped loose tea and one for the pot. Pour in enough water that's just finished boiling to cover that amount, um, to, to cover for two cups of tea. Leave to settle, um, leave to brew for about ooh, three to four minutes, and then serve. It's a matter of debate, um, and it's a matter of preference whether you put the milk in first or you put the milk in after after you poured the tea. But apart from that, that's about how you do it. Is use loose tea because it's actually better than tea bags, gives the tea more room to move around. But then you've got to strain it out, so that's swings and roundabouts. But that's basically how I'd make a proper cup of tea. Okay, I hope that answers your question, and I'll move on to the next one. Ah, Dalek Ambi. Um, in case you didn't guess by reading it, that's my daughter, Dalek Ambi. And she wants to know how come I know so much about science and the Bible. <laughs> and because I studied Amber, and the best thing you can do is get back to your books, stop looking, wasting your time looking around YouTube. <laughs> do some bloody homework. Um, I'm glad you find it funny when I pull apart these uh, these lunatics with the Bibles. And as you said, you're wondering how I know all of this. It's because I've studied it, I've looked at it, and why am I so random? Because I think that's funny as well. And that's the way my head works. It goes from one subject to another without stopping at points B and C in between. Okay? Now, get back to homework. Moving on. I've not got a lot of time left. Alright, Chris the Atheist, um, I've no idea who the four horsemen of atheism would be, so if I may choose a famous scientist instead, I'll take Galileo. And the question is, I'd like to ask him is, what the f... I mean, how did he think he was doing when he renounced? I know he was trying to save his life, but, but when he renounced his views about what he knew to be fact, I want to ask him why the... F f f f f he could have legged it. He could have come over to um, Britain at that time, and he would have been welcomed with open arms, but no! He decided to be a pillock. Oh, well, never mind. Um, and that's it, I think. Have I? Yes, yes, I've done it. I've finally got this video done, and it's only just, just over 11 minutes. I hope that will upload to YouTube. And uh, if I've said anything in this video that offends anybody, Good. Right. And I'll be back to offend you all later. 